Hello, I'm back. I welded in the quarter inch plate in the back that I talked about before. And then uh, I prepped this area. What I use is, uh, it's called Cora Seal that I use for a rust converter that I also did on the front of the truck as well. So I just put this on there for a, a protective layer and then the piece of plate, the next plate I'm going to put on there goes, I have it marked on there, rail side. So it goes and sheds the rail. See there? And it should, it fits right down inside there. So I can run my welds all around and then I'll still have core seal on both sides of this plate and this one as well. So I put it on both. You can put it on rusty metal or on not rusty metal. It'll still do the same. But I left this side clean because then I plan on doing core sealing all of this inside here too while I'm here. So next step is going to be welding in that to meet up to with that over there and over here along the edges. So also right here, the curve where I need to, I put core seal on that as well. So now it's all black in there. You can see the color on there. So then this is the eighth inch plate. And again, core seal on the inside and I have it bent. I'm going to use some clamps to get that to fit up into this area here so then I can weld that all around so that's what I'm going to be doing next alrighty okay so I got this plate all welded in welded all around the edges all around the edges here and there and in the back up the side so then I got the bottom, this plate in, the eighth inch plate. And the original plate was only welded right here, down here. Well, this was actually a wild one piece, but then I welded it here. Welded here, put it put it across there, and then right here, and right here. Then go with this stiffener right here. So, so there's that piece in there. It turned out okay, it didn't hit. 100% right here, but that's okay. It'll be a little gap, but I think it's mainly for strength Strength this way so as the frame pushes up this way it kind of holds this Keeps it from flexing up more. I just have more than that than the flight frame going the other way So anyways, so that's all done so next thing I'm going to do is core seal the inside here and then weld in plates right here to cover us all up alrighty bye bye okay this is the passenger side outrigger and uh, while the other side is over here drying from the core seal I thought well I'll cut this side out to see what's going on so this again just like the other side had a nest all inside here but it wasn't as rusted right here in this part so it doesn't look like I need to cut into this because this is still solid up in over on this side so but weird part is how I welded the plate on the other side this side has the exact same problem and you I don't know if you could see down in there very good but this is all this is the second plate that I welded on on the other side this one's all rusted away on top of this plate here which is part of the shackle holder so this one the same thing it's all rusted on top right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this out here and just weld in a new plate just like I did on the other side but just the plate right here I don't need to fix this because this is still solid and not rusted or anything so it's interesting how it rusted in the exact same spot on the other side is this side it must have been the double plate that's together right here that makes the outrigger it sits on this piece here welds on to the outrigger so that in between is where it rusted and where it rusted all through you can see how it's a different pieces right here so 
the next thing is I'm going to cut and clean all this out and then do the same thing I'm going to make a plate weld it on there around all the edges and then, then that will be fixed too and I'll do core seal also also inside here all right okay so I ended up I did have to cut this side out even though it was solid it was solid here solid there I had to cut this piece out in order to cut the space out so I could make a new plate for here so this has already been covered in core seal I already made a new plate welded it in this side all four sides of this plate and I had to cut this out in order to clean all this all that nasty rust pieces that were sitting there so I cut that out I welded in a new piece already it's all in there and fixed and then I already coated everything in core seal then I cut my new plate that's going to go in here. I core sealed the back, just a rust converter. And this one's all ready to be welded in on this side. So then this side will be done. And I have the exact same thing ready on the other side. I cleaned and did everything and okay. So my next thing is I'm going to weld, up, weld this in and weld the other side outrigger. On the other side, I'm going to weld that side up and outriggers will be done. Thank God. <laughs> this was a very long process. It took a lot longer than expected. I thought, well, it's just going to be a nice little simple things. It then ended up taking me hours longer than expected. So, all right. All right, just finished welded up the plates for the holes. Go all around, I'm not the greatest welder, so you don't have to be a professional welder just to get all this work done. So, you can see I went around, cut the plate out, made it fit in a square, cleaned up all the edges around, and then slowly weld it around. Usually do a spot weld, spot weld, spot weld, you know, like a tack weld, and I do a circle around. And I just keep going around. It's, it's long, and, long and monotonous, but... You get around and you just slowly work your way around. But I'm happy on how it turned out. So you can uh, make fun of my welds as much as you want, but I don't care. It Just as long as it's holding and it's there, it's not going anywhere. It's hard as a rock. All right, bye-bye.